uh, some people may say young at heart, but not young in age, but a very good friend of mine and no stranger to the microphones of Starcom Network, Olympian Frida Nichols. Frida, you are here, you said um, to the youngsters in your speech earlier, a couple of minutes ago, to use this as a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. And this is something new, the Relay Me for this zone and so forth. Your impressions of the relays as a new way of getting the kids to be involved? Well, I think it's a good transition from the lockdown of COVID, where a lot of these young athletes had not had the opportunity to be doing any exercise at all. And they have brought them directly back into a competition where they're using the traditional distances of 100, 200, whatever, would not have been a good transition. This allows them to get the feel of the competition. It allows them to work on their building up aspect of their form and their, their resilience. It gives the background now in terms of, as you know, background training, whether you're a sprinter, whether you're a field event, whether you're a distance planner, the background training is different where you run longer distances because that helps with improving your stamina and your ability then to put on the additional work. So I think this is a great transition. I am looking at the faces on, of the young athletes that I saw on television for the past three days and they are all excited, a little nervous you can tell, but they have, it's as if it's a release now they've come to be able to take part. You mentioned about the fact about a little scared and so forth to run and that type of stuff. Do you believe that this meet is a meet that they can stay in the regular calendar along with the, the normal NASA? I think they can bring a, the, the developmental distance aspect of it and bring it at a particular time. The distance period is usually between September and December. So what NAPSA can do, and this is just a suggestion, they can either bring that meat, that kind of a meat, where instead of even using the truck, you can use a course. I am thinking like the botanical garden, where you have a grass course, you can run these particular distances, there's a certain excitement you can get. You can either do it, as I said, um, between September and December, or you can do it maybe in January or February, and then have this as a regular type of distance release on the calendar, and then go into the full competition, normal competition, later in the year. Frida, thank you very much. A very good suggestion. And I know you're all excited about seeing these on the nines run this 4x4. So thank you once again for coming to our microphones. You're very welcome. And please remember, I won my first race when I was seven years old. So this carries me right back. That is what whetted my appetite for athletics. The ability to run, you felt good, and you actually I won. But even if you don't win, the, the camaraderie, the ability to test yourself and develop a love for the sport, nothing to 